All right, let's do a little schoolhouse lesson here on the various versions of the intake base from 1985 through, I'm pretty sure this goes all the way to 92. Um, they look very similar, but they are not all the same. To the best of my knowledge, there are three different versions of these intakes. Okay, so the first version, we'll start over here at the beginning. This would be 85 and 86. The second version is 87 and 88. And then this is going to be 89 through 92. So um, these two, believe it or not, for some weird reason, even though they are different, have the same part number on them. So why GM did that? beyond me. Okay, let's start with the 8586. The stamped part number on it's going to be 14081005. And then in 87, that stamped part number is 10088015. And then even though this is a different intake, it has the same stamped part number on it. But let's look at what the differences are. So the key difference between 8586 and 8788 is the center bolts. Um, so you've got your two front flange bolts, two rear bolts. The center bolts for an 85 and an 86 are at exactly the same angle as all the rest. All right. But in 8788, I don't know if you can see this, the center bolts are at a flatter angle. So the Front and rear flange bolts tilt upward a little bit. I don't know what that degree is. Um, somebody knows. But then these flatten out a little bit. Uh, very hard to tell by looking at them, but if you run across one of these intakes, you can tell an 8586 because the center bolt flange area has this little flare out right here. And 87 and up doesn't. This is basically straight across for the most part. Okay. That's really... The key difference between these both of these systems use the ninth cold injector the cold start injector um, so in that therefore you need to have the cold start injector switch um, all of these manifolds are going to have obviously a coolant inlet nipple and a coolant temperature sensor all right so when we get to the 87 88s once again the center bolts flange is different um, and that's really about it as far as I know. And then when we go from up to 89, they removed the ninth cold start injector. So as you can see, this boss right here does not have the hole for the ninth cold start injector switch. And there it is right there. Okay. Now some people think that the manifold itself doesn't have the port. It does, in fact, have the port. The port is right there. It's just when you put a... Uh, non-ninth injector runner on here basically seals this port up and the gasket seals it up. Um, one thing I've also noticed is there's an additional stamping on this one, but I have one in the shed that has the same stamping that has the ninth injector switch boss for it. So I don't know if this stamping up here is relevant in any way or not. Um, okay, so... Anybody is welcome to chime in and tell me if I missed anything, but that's the key differences between the three different manifolds.